What's up, guys? John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. You know it's one of my favorite days, man, because I get to come on here, I get to talk to you guys, see what's going on, talk to you guys about some of the therapies, especially the therapy of the week. What's up, Operator O? How you doing, man? So waiting for everybody to get in. Alex, what's going on? Sneaky, what's going on? How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I know it's Tuesday. We're on to Wednesday tomorrow, so this day's pretty much done, workday-wise. So at that point, we're going on to Hump Day, one of our favorites too. But we're back in this, Titan Talk Tuesday, so we're going to talk about a lot of great things today. We will talk about Therapy of the Week, which is our Iron Man, our Iron Man therapy. And at that point, this is an erectile dysfunction or sexual libido or bedroom enhancing therapy that you guys can utilize. What's going on, Bennett? How you doing? Uh, Mr. Dillon, what's going on? Jeff, how you doing? George, what's going on? So we're going to talk about that. And then any questions you guys got about maybe therapies and stuff like that, throw them my way and I'll try to get to them and answer them for you. But let's uh, let's just go over an overview. This last weekend was really cool. So if you guys didn't get to check out social media, check it out. There might be some pictures on there still of Cars and Couture. It was another event type medical center. It was probably a, a great sponsor of. Uh, Donna Crowley put it on, 1920s theme, Great Gatsby. Everybody was dressed up. It was really, really cool. This huge mansion, five acres. And one of the best parts about it was it was for charity. It was for Autism Speaks, which was a great cause to be there for. Um, beautiful night. Everybody showed out. Everybody brought their exotic rides, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, I mean, Bentleys, Rolls Royce. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So they had one heck of a lineup there. Of course, we had the 2020 Tide Corvette in full effect out there. Uh, we were out there meeting with people, talking with people, and just, you know, showing what Titan's about. You know, the Titan lifestyle. We're all, not just a clinic, a medical center, but we are a brand. We are a lifestyle. We are all around health. So it all comes in conjunction to do all these different things out there. So it was for a great cause. Guys, check out the social media, and I'm sure we're going to have some more video content for you guys, showing you some behind the scenes and an overview of the great event. So let's jump into Titan Talk Tuesday. Just want to throw it out there because it was a great event for a good cause and we had a heck of a time trust me so therapy of the week iron man so the iron man therapy the iron man's iron men technically um so at that point what is this therapy so this is a new therapy from type medical center so if you guys are patients you guys might not know about the supermans that's one thing or wonder women's who are females out there and all the other eds like qb cubits candy or bedroom enhancing therapies that we have so at that point, we wanted to make something new, something special. And there was one thing that always worked for our patients. One thing was obviously the, the Wonder Man, the, excuse me, the Wonder Woman's for females and the Superman's for males. But another good thing is, is if you didn't take these, you know, these different therapies like those, bedroom enhancing therapies, and you took Hercules Potion per se, you might think that, I'll get to that cost real quick. Um, you might think about, you know, if you had, you know, fun in the bedroom that night, about blood flow and nitric oxide in particular because that really creates the blood flow and, and really vasodilates and, and you open it up. So Arjun and L-citrulline were the main precursors to this, right? And they were really good Hercules potion as far as blood flow and for later on you get, you get a great effect in the bedroom. Um, you know, because it's all about blood flow for us guys, for sure. So mixing arginine with... Right, with sildenafil or tadalafil should increase nitric oxide blood flow. With sildenafil, you're already doing blood flow um, at that point, so it should increase things, make things even stronger. That's what we call the Iron Man therapy. So at that point, you should be ready to rock and roll and take it to the whole next level. Um, you know, in vasodilation, blood flow, um, overall effect. We are running specials, and we're going to be. I'll be talking about the other specials that we're running. So. Before I get to the NAD cost, you guys are tuning in. Listen, Black Wednesday, which is next Wednesday. And I'll go over this in Titan Talk Tuesday, uh, next Tuesday. But next Wednesday is the big day for us here. We always go live like three times a day. We give away blood tests. We give away like free consultations, um, therapy packages if you're a patient, apparel, all kinds of different things. So Black Wednesday is a huge event for us. So tune in. We're going to be announcing the times here in the next couple days. So keep it locked to our social media. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, 
check it out because we will have these times for you guys and we'll spread it out through the day so everybody gets a chance whether you're on break or in the morning before you're going to work or when you're waking up or get, get done with the kids or after work okay or right before them but it's going to be a huge day a lot of giveaways free stuff who doesn't like free stuff especially when it comes to like free full panels free titan gear Maybe free consultations or therapies if you're a patient as far as amino acids or vitamin therapies. Plus, I'm going to give away discounts to new patients and old patients. So if you don't win, you really do win. Okay, so I want to make sure that everybody is going to benefit on Black Wednesday. So next question is NAD cost. So Dave is the, the person that asked this question. So Dave, NAD. Now... The 1,000 milligram vial or therapy that we offer here at Titan Medical Center for our patients is usually 275 for that therapy, okay? I know other places, uh, even IV places, that are charging for 500 milligrams, $500. It's really expensive, but it works very well. In my opinion, I've used it a long time. Even before people really started getting into this, I see like over-the-counter forms and all that, you can go back because we implemented NAD, especially with H, with it added hydrogen into it, um, like seven years ago. So at that point, we were way ahead of this. And I'm telling you, I read books on this stuff a long time ago. It's just great, great as far as the therapy, great for clarity, uh, cognitive enhancement as far as that goes, cellular repair on the cellular level. That, that's huge. Um, it does a lot of great things. Brain, um, brain function is the main thing. Energy is another great thing about it. So natural energy, there's no stimulant type effect. Titan Ultra? It's in Titan Ultra. Yep. It's at a lower dose though. So with the 1,000 milligram, you can dilute it with 10 mLs and you get 100 milligrams per dose. Or you could even spread that out and get 50 milligrams per dose, um, which is a really good daily dose if you're going to do something like that or every other day. Or if you want to use it for studying or uh, for a meeting or, you know, athletic performance. I mean, it's good for a lot of different things as far as it goes, even just cellular repair. So check it out if you don't know about it. NAD. Now, we service nationwide too, guys. So wherever you're at in the country, we can help you out with any of our different services, blood work, hormone replacement therapy, weight loss therapies, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptides, all these different peptide therapies from healing to weight loss, um, a lot of different great ones in there, um, along with blood work. And blood work is real key, all right? It's, it's, it's key to know what's going on inside your body to really help fix it or to optimize things. You can look on the outside of your body. If you see something, you're like, oh, I, I got this problem here. I got this rash or whatever it is. But you really can't see on the inside. Um, and sometimes you're not going to get pain or any discomfort or anything until maybe it's too late or there's a serious problem or issue. So just make sure you guys are checking these things out. And blood work, in-depth blood work, you know, not basic blood work, you know. So make sure you know what you're getting testing-wise or what they're testing for. Uh, running special. So... There are a couple different specials that will be running very shortly. So if you guys stay tuned to this. Jesse Sturgis, what's going on? How you doing? What's going on, Amanda? How you doing? Loud, how you doing? Oh, Jess, James, how you guys doing? So that's it. So the Iron Man therapy, so you guys know, is sildenafil along with arginine. So that should increase blood flow very, very seriously throughout the body. Vasodilation. Um, and it's worked very well. So you guys give it a test try. And at that point, we're not even doing a price increase or anything like that. It's like the regular price with Superman's. I didn't want to, you know, do anything higher as far as that goes. I mean, we could, but at that point, I want you guys to be able to decipher which one. And I guarantee you guys are going to like this one. You guys can do the Pepsi challenge, all right? So tell me if you guys have tried this therapy or how you guys like this therapy or... You know, if you guys want to, yes, I want to win 252, not too expensive. No, it's not. Definitely not. All right. So my first one is, and this was, you know, this kind of hit home. Um, you know, we've got you know a lot of staff in, in the office, and I, I talk to a lot of staff that are out in you know these different places, working in different atmospheres. And the big thing is, is about masks. So everybody's wearing masks still. You know, some people they don't want to wear masks. And that's fine. That's their decision. Um, but some places aren't going to make you wear them, right? Or you can't come in or whatever it is. You can throw a fit. But they're locking down on these masks, okay? It just it is what it is everywhere. 
Um, here in Florida, especially, you know, if you got to go into businesses, we're a medical center. So I would, I would appreciate if I walked into a medical center, our medical staff was wearing masks. But my point to this is that masks do some damage, okay? And I'm not talking about, you know, not being able to breathe or anything like that. I'm talking about face damage, okay? And, and you wouldn't even think about it, really. You know, sometimes you might not. And it really depends on what environment you're in. So if you're in an environment where you have to wear a mask, the whole time, let's say you're on an eight hour shift, you're gonna cause some irritation, some problems, as far as maybe on your face where that mask was at. The reason is because masks move, okay? You know, unless you're wearing really an N95 with a really tight seal, and that can cause irritation in itself, you know, at that point, you're gonna probably get some irritation underneath. Um, and now, depending on the sensitivity of your skin, you might have all kinds of problems. You might break out an acne, broken blood vessels I've seen, um, you know, just damage to the skin, bumps, small bumps. Um, so this, and this can become painful over time because you're causing constant irritation, constant friction. You might be moving your mask or touch, touching your mask or touching your face, which could be causing oil, dirt, all this buildup in there, uh, which would be causing you problems. So we're gonna give you some tips to help you guys out with not possibly getting this irritation or breakouts or problems and maybe this might help you guys. It's pretty, I, I think it's pretty common sense as far as that goes. So the first one is make sure you're cleaning your face properly, you know, and if you have sensitive skin, there's there's different, medi uh, excuse me, not medicated soaps, but soaps out there, like a Cetaphil, a, a Cetaphil, and then there's a, there's another one. Uh, but you can use these different soaps before you put on the mask. Um, and at that point through the day, there's actually lubrication you can put on your face too. Um, so if it's friction from the mask, it won't cause the irritation or problems. Um, the next thing is, you know, sometimes masks cause, you know, moisture getting caught inside the mask, which can cause damage to it along with that problem. Um, so you want to really look at the mask you guys are getting. Now, if you're a healthcare worker, you're in a hospital, you're probably wearing an N95 and you're probably wearing it all day. So at that point, it's going to be a real tight fit. Um, you really don't have any other options as far as that goes. The everyday person. Now, I've seen everyday people wearing all types of different masks. Most of the loop ones, surgical masks, um, the gaiters. Um, you know, I wear, you know, the tight mask, which it has the ear loops, and I can adjust the ear loops on it. Um, and at that point, the best type of mask. Now, I, I really didn't know this until I read up into this, but satin or satin line masks are probably the best for your face. Um, they're great for people who have sensitive skin. They're antimicrobial. Uh, so... They're going to keep away some of these different things, um, and they're going to let your, your your face breathe. And you're going to be able to breathe through this. Now, the difference. So with this, it's, it's more porous. That means the droplets could possibly get in. But with some of these masks I see other people wearing, unless you're wearing like an N95 or something very, very serious medical grade, I don't, I don't think, you know, I, I think most masks are about the same. Now, the best thing to do is get a couple layers that's very breathable. The, the first one that I seen that was really cool was we ordered one for my son, who's 11. And we ordered one of those um, Under Armour ones. Really cool, man. I mean, it was really nice material, really breathable, you know, so as far as that goes. I've seen some other ones, too. So at that point, look for different masks that you guys can do. All right, so I don't want to go too, too far into this. But it, it hit home to a couple of people I know about getting acne and that really bad irritation with the mask and asking what could they do. You guys, um, you guys can also get uh, benzoyl peroxide soap too as well and wash with that. That you keep the bacteria down. Make sure you're washing your mask, especially you girls out there. You girls, I've seen your masks. They got makeup in it. They don't look too good. All right. So if you're you're worried about irritation, you're worried about breakouts and stuff like that. Clean your mask, wash your mask, okay? If you can't wash it, it's a one-time, throw it away and get another one, okay? That might be damaging your face even more. Guys, too, make sure. They're even calling it uh, mask, masknia, masknia. That's what they're calling it. It's really, really crazy. Anyway, let's get into the next one. All right, since so we're into this mask thing, it's kind of crazy because I was reading up. It's been one year since COVID-19 has officially been on the map. Starting in China. What about using disinfectant spray on your mask if you don't have time to wash it? Oof. I guess it could work. I, I don't know. Some people's face are very sensitive, so I wouldn't recommend that for everybody. But, hey, listen, if you're using that and that's okay, then I, I think it'll be all right. As long as it's all right to put on the skin. And most of those things I haven't seen to be able to put on the skin. But if it says it's okay, 
you're good to go. So it's been one year since COVID-19 first found in China. So that's the, the first of it. Really crazy because they didn't report it till December um, at that point. They were, they were getting ramaged in their hospitals with people with like flu, flu-like symptoms. Um, so at that point, they really didn't know the cause. And they, they started looking at, you know, these different things as far as the lungs and all that. It did go right along with the flu. So here we have COVID-19. So one year, it's kind of hard to even think about it being one year. It's crazy. So hopefully we get through this and the vaccines come because there's two vaccines on the way. We talked about the one from Pfizer, 91% effectiveness. You have to get two of those shots. It has to be held in a, a place colder than Antarctica. So think about that because it's not going to be able to go into any cooler. Now Moderna is the next company that has 94.8 effectiveness in their vaccine. So we'll see about that. Two shots, too, as well. And this one does not have to be held at those Antarctic temperatures that the Pfizer one does. And it's more effective, supposedly. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes, and we'll see how these vaccines go. Are you guys going to get the vaccine? You know, it's, it's kind of a scary question, right? Are they going to make this mandatory to get this? I don't know if they're going to make it mandatory. I can definitely see uh, them trying to be like, well, you can't do this unless you have the vaccine. Or you have the antibody test, or you have a negative COVID test, then you could do this, like traveling, going to certain places, like sporting events, like something. Like they'll, they'll the make you get it. Yeah, remember the concerts? That's yeah. One of the things you can do. Yeah. So they'll make you get it. They won't ma- mandatory like hold your arm down. You're getting this injection, or you're getting this vaccination. No, don't. They'll make it so you can't go out and do anything else and, unless you get the vaccination. So I could see that coming because, you know, they don't have to let you in those events or anything like that unless you adhere to their terms, policies, or standards. So at that point, anybody could probably make that up. I can make that up before you probably come to the clinic. You need to be vaccinated before you come in here. So I don't know. Really crazy. We'll see how it goes. We're in it together because I have no idea what's going on. You guys don't have any idea what's going on. Only those guys in Washington or behind the scenes know what the hell is going on. So we have to take directives and see what the hell is going on from them. So stay tuned. We'll all be there together. All right. Real pilot versus AI virtual enemy jet. Very cool stuff here, guys. So augmented reality. If you guys don't know what it is, I really, after this, check it out. Really cool stuff. It's been coming on, uh, around for a long time as far as that goes. Um, so augmented reality. So basically simulators when people were in fighter jets and i have a lot of people in the air force and the navy that have flown a lot of planes okay and they've always had to do like you know simulations either on the ground in a simulation like a computer setting where they're in the this like simulator and they're on the ground and there's building and doing it or they go up and the simulator jets a real jet and basically they're flying these different things these patterns and stuff like that or or training now, with augmented reality, they've actually implanted these different sensors, all these different things in the cockpit, on the plane, and with a, a, a like a headset for the pilot. So, what does this do? They can replicate any foreign or uh, enemy, basically, at this point, their jets, or any of these different aircrafts that they could be fighting against, and actually put it in the simulation artificial intelligence augmented to reality so when this dude this pilot is up there basically he can see through this and it's adding in this augmented reality this artificial intelligence this other jet and they just did it, it was like it was a chinese aircraft stealth aircraft that they made and this guy went up or as far as that goes and went through the re, you know the simulation there's two companies developing this, this different stuff really really cool stuff technology is advancing faster than we could ever think of um, and doing this is going to save a lot of things. One, it's going to save that person that's possibly flying up there and them causing issues. Um, two, being able to implement uh, what they want this jet to do. So um, they can make any pattern they want. They can do any simulation they want. They can run it a million and one times. They're saving on fuel costs too as well, which is cool because uh, they're not flying two jets, only flying one. Um, and it, it could basically, you know, it could help these fighters um, go through diff- different simulations in a real jet that they've never done before. It's a whole different experience. Augmented reality is coming to a theater near you. Don't think just about fighter pilots and jets. Think about your phone and using your camera to scroll over something and seeing a message that somebody put there for you or was there um, through the augmented reality when you start looking through your cameras. Really cool stuff. At Facebook, 
they've got this whole wall of augmented reality. And if they, you flash your camera in front of it, it will show all these different designs and all these pictures and all this different stuff. To the blind eye, nothing. Behind your camera and this augmented reality, it is seriously crazy. So the reality, the augmented reality uh, is getting a big push. Artificial intelligence, they're telling these, these fighter pilots that they're going to have to work well with artificial intelligence in the future because that's where it's going. And that's not just in planes like we're talking about. That's why I wanted to bring it up because artificial intelligence is everywhere. Even in medical practices and stuff like that, artificial intelligence is here. So just get ready, strap up those boots uh, because it's going to be one hell of a ride. All right, so weekly poll let's get to the weekly poll guys all right so do you ever worry about pleasing your partner in the bedroom now this is a good question it goes right along with our iron man therapies or any of our libido enhancer bedroom enhancing therapies and we've got quite a few and we've got a lot more coming guys um so with this 87 percent said yes and i think uh most of us like that shows in the poll you know worry about pleasing our partner you know, I mean, it's it's a big thing, you know, keeping your partner around, keeping them satisfied, you know, wanting, having them, you know, wanting to want you and stuff like that. You know, they want that. So <clears throat> performing is a part of that, uh, whether you're a guy or a girl. I mean, I think that goes into an effect. So and if you're a guy, especially. OK. And the one thing about us is we need an erection and we need a good erection. And uh, at that point, sometimes guys have problems getting erections. And that could be from a multitude of different issues. Uh, or mental things that are going on from stress can definitely cause some ED issues, okay? It might not be nothing physical, but some things that might be coming out, going on in the brain or problems going on in life or at the job, right? And at that point, you might be getting these issues. It could be a health issue. It could be low testosterone. It could be a number of different things for us guys. So that is a problem with erections, and we want to make sure our partner really does remember who we are. Uh, all right, RX Ryan, you get a price was, I mean, Listen, mostly injectable therapies for vitamin amino acids are going to range from 180 to 275 for 30 shot therapy packages. So 180 on your low point and 275 uh, for those. Tighten up, let, let's say, for example, is 180, where a Hercules Potion or Titan Complete is 275. If you guys want more information about our therapies, how we can help you guys, call or text 727 389 3220. Do you believe TRT anabolic use make you more successful? So, I do, um, and l let me explain that. So I don't think that um, anabolic use per se does that. Then let's just get the stereotype or, or get the 8,000 pound elephant out of the room. So when we talk about testosterone, it is an anabolic steroid. Uh, males and females both have this, and this is natural. I think the word anabolic or anabolic, anabolic steroids get a bad a bad name as far as that goes, a bad stereotype, a bad judgment against people. They think people are going to be roided up. Um, they're just going to be these big juice heads, and, and that's it. So that's not really what it's about. So people in a multi, a, a lot of a multitude of people have low testosterone, or um, they are very, very low as far as that goes on the scale. Right above maybe normal, but really low. So when they're low like that, there's a couple of different things that are, it's going to affect them. Let's talk about these things and why I think that it makes you more successful to make sure that your levels are optimized, not excessive. Okay, not if you don't need it, don't take it. If your levels are okay, good, then you don't need it. But I'm saying if you're if you're low or you're deficient, so you know brain. So there's receptors in the brain that need testosterone. You know this has a fo the foggy thinking that goes around, along with low T. So that's one thing that will make you successful. You can think better, okay? The second thing, motivation. So when you have low testosterone, um, usually you lose motivation. So the things that you like to do, that used to bring you joy, if you like to go outside and play basketball or, or run the track or whatever it is, um, and those don't bring you joy anymore. That's a sign of low testosterone. And fixing that brings that back. So that will make you more successful. You'll be more, more motivated. Okay, more energy, that makes you more successful. I mean, the more you can do for the longer time span, you hopefully can get more things done, which will make you more successful, working smarter and not harder. Um, the next thing is, is physical capacity. So, you know, your metabolism getting boosted, cardiovascular effects, all these things should help you 
live a better quality of life, healthier quality of life, I should say, and that should make you more successful. I mean, these are these are certain things that you just you know clamp together. So, do I think that TRT or HRT, as I would like to say, I think that that definitely would make me more successful. Um, at the time, before ten years ago, when I had low testosterone, didn't know it. Um, I was going through the motions, so I was getting my responsibilities done as far as job-wise. I was still hitting the gym. I just wasn't getting the effects. And I was going through, the, like I said, the walking dead phase. That's what I call it, the walking dead syndrome. Like, you go through, and you're like a zombie. You get everything done, and then you just repeat. It's like Groundhog's Day over and over. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, and then after, you know, getting help and getting fixed, it's like the light, you know, the, seeing the sun for the first time. You're raising the blinds. You see it, and... You're just motivated and ready to rock and roll. So I think that all has um, points to being successful. What is considered a good testosterone level for somebody that's at least, say, 48? So, all right, so it really doesn't matter, I think, at age. When you look at a scale reference range from a blood test, from any lab, let's say LabCorp or Quest, you're looking at that range, and let's just use LabCorp, for example. So you're talking about 216 to 946, huge range. Uh ages 18 to uh, i think it's 49 right so any anybody that's 18 to 49 in those reference ranges now if an 18 year old comes back at 217 they're still normal but that's not normal for an 18 year old now if a 48 year old comes back at that well hey listen at least he's 48 he still needs to get fixed and get help to get optimized but really those ranges don't change it really changes on your age. So if you're, eight, you know, you're 48, yeah, it could be lower. But an 18 year old or not, and we don't treat 18 year olds. Uh, we don't even treat 20 year olds. You know, like 21. I mean, at that point, they need to try to get help from somewhere else, and there might be a serious problem. So we try to help everybody, but at that point, you want to just make sure. All right. Uh, I couldn't do dishes fast enough to get on here. Oh, Illmatic, I appreciate that, man. That guy, you're welcome, man. Titan Tuesday in great effect. Great content, brother. Looking forward to trying that Hercules. Mr. Brightside, thank you. I really appreciate that. Jet, what's going on? And Mr. Brightside, wait till you try that Hercules potion. I want to know after you try it, you come on the next Titan Tuesday or you come on Titan Lifestyle with me and Big Drew and you can definitely let us know how it is. I want the honest opinion and I want to definitely go through it and make sure you're getting the best benefits of these therapies. I mean, that's what we're here for, Air Titan. We're here to make you look better, feel better, and perform better. Better quality of life, healthier quality of life. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Longevity, vitality, and really, you know, to, to enhance your performance in every way, shape, or form. And these vitamin and amino acid injectables, seriously, add on. I, now, I, I believe that hormones should be optimized and everybody should feel good there. And I believe it's a balance, a harmonic balance, and everything should be right. But then you start going to the different things that can really, really help you out or really take you to the next level. And I believe that Hercules Potion is definitely one of those. Even Titan Complete, those signature therapies, vitamin amino acid therapies, are vital to the body in a lot of different ways and responses that the body has. So check them out if you don't know anything about them, all right? All right, little mo listen, check it out. Black Wednesday, if you guys just tuning in, next Wednesday, free giveaway, discounts, all types of things will be happening. Going live on Instagram and Facebook. So tune in. All right. So 87% said yes. They would like to definitely please their partner in the bedroom. I hope that is one of you guys. You guys always want to please your, your partner and do the best you possibly can. If you guys need any help, we'll be here. we have some definitely some good things to help you. What up, big Irishman? How you doing, man? Russ, what's going on? All right. So upcoming events. Well, 6% said no. 6% said no. I think I'm okay, but I'm not sure. Well, I hope you're sure or you're not sure about that. Either you, you perform like a champ, you're walking out like, ah, or you're like, uh, was it as good for you as it was for me? You know, you're kind of looking over. Uh, at that point, you might want to, you might want to call Titan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Festival of Speed, January 10th, next event. Hopefully no COVID lockdowns. Hopefully no COVID lockdowns. If you guys are in states with COVID lockdowns, when I feel for you. Hopefully we don't get any here in Florida. I hope you guys do not get any COVID lockdowns or any no problems. But January 10th, see us in St. Petersburg, Florida. We are going to be there. Festival of Speed, Titan Medical Center, main media sponsor. We will be out there in full force. Come check us out. January 24th, Orlando, Festival of Speed. Come check us out. Ritz-Carlton, a couple weeks apart. 
So whether you're here in this local area or you're in Central Florida, come check us out. All right. Um, and those are the only events we got really going on. We got some, maybe some crunch events in between. Those will be on the newsletter. So at that point, you guys need to check out the newsletter. All right. If you guys have not checked it out or you guys haven't been on it or don't know how to get on it, it's real simple and easy. All you got to do is text the word Titan Medical, right, to the number 22828 right on your phone. It's real simple, real easy. It'll walk you right through the steps. All right. Uh, see you there. We'll bring my Rolls Royce. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Enthusiast Hope. I appreciate that. Bring it out, man. Love seeing those rides. Just got my paperwork on Monday. I get my view on. The... Oh, nice. Okay, let me know who you see. Uh, might be Cass. Might sh be Chenille. You never know. Might be other other providers. Uh, we'll be in St. Pete. All right, I can't wait, man. The nectar of the gods and peptides. Really, really good ones. Hercules Potion, too. I was just talking about it. Really, really good one, too, as well. All right, guys. It's been a great Titan Talk Tuesday. I think I took it up enough, enough of your time. Um, so I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Don't forget Titan Lifestyle with me and Big Drew Friday at 2 p.m. We'll talk about all this stuff that's out there in the world. It's kind of where we kind of just free flow. Uh, we might talk about some of the therapies, therapy of the week. Um, maybe you guys pop up some questions and we can talk about it too as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nice, 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 nice. Um, Chad's a good dude. So at that point, we will see you then. Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle Show 2. Guys, it's on every Sunday at 11 a.m. here in Florida, ABC on the TV. If you guys cannot check it out on the TV or don't live in the state of Florida, you guys take a look at our Tight Medical Center Facebook page or even YouTube, Tight Medical Center. Check it out, plus all the other cool videos we have on there. You guys are going to love it. And Instagram, though, they're getting the full videos too now. Instagram, you guys are getting the full video. So it'll be on IGTV. So if you guys missed any of this, you guys want to learn about what else we talked about on here, um, you guys can tune right back into IGTV. And it won't just be me with this green screen. It will be the full show. So you guys will see all the pictures, videos that are put together. It looks really, really good. Got to give him big props on it. He's doing well with that. So I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Coach Williams, what's going on? BDB, how you guys doing? I appreciate you guys. I'll be back next Tuesday for you guys. Tight Talk Tuesday, full fact, 6 p.m. every Tuesday with me. If you guys want to get the new patient paperwork, guys, it's on the website. Okay? Go fill it out on there. Check it out, tightmedicalcenter.com. I'm John from Titan. Thank you again. I'll see you next Tuesday on Titan Talk, 2 p.m. or 6 p.m. Thanks, guys.